Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we are taking a look at the Nova 3D Whale SE. Before we get started, roll those credits. So, we are taking a look at the Nova 3D Whale SE, a 10.3 inch 8K MSLA printer with auto refill, feature rich. But before we delve into the review, a quick word from our sponsors. PCBWay are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. So, straight into the review, let's talk about the specs of this machine. So obviously it is a 10.3 inch 8K MSLA resin printer. It has an auto refill system. It has a build volume of 228 by 128 by 230. So a nice generous build volume. It does not require any leveling from the factory. So you get it out the box and you're pretty much going straight away. Um, the auto resin refill doesn't have a pump or anything that's gonna fail. It doesn't have sensors. It's simple mechanics and physics. As soon as the resin reaches the waterline in line with the cap on this bottle, it cuts it off. All that means is that when you have your resin printer set up, you need to make sure that it is level. Now the feet are adjustable, so if your surface isn't perfectly level, then you can tweak the feet. But otherwise what you might get is resin will pull in one side of the vat, you could get a bit of an overspill. Speaking of overspill, when I've been printing with this and the vat has been full, um, I have had some splashes that have happened along the front. It's really nothing, a bit of paper towel and a quick wipe won't solve but it is a little frustrating sometimes. Um, the only other thing is the way that this works is the uh, there is a cap that goes on the end of the resin bottle. It will fit quite a few different bottles, but it's not gonna fit all of your resin bottles. So if you buy one of these printers, then it's really important that you keep the bottle that comes with it. Um, or if you buy more, you keep a couple of bottles laying around so that if you have a resin bottle and you want to use the auto refill, then you're able to put that you're able to top up the uh, you're able to top up this uh, this bottle that you've got left over, put the cap on and then the auto refill will work. Um, we tried a couple of different resins. So these uh, the the Achilles, the two miniatures here and the mask, they are all done um, in the 8K Nova Maker resin. And then we also did some of the red wax resin from, uh, from Sunlu as well. The results are absolutely bang on. They're exactly what I would expect from a printer of this the, of these specs. Really, really clean, really, really good. It does come with its own slicer. So you can use um, Chi2 Box, Lai Chi, Tango, but it does come with Nova Maker. And if you want to take advantage of the 0.25 mil support settings, you will need to use Nova Maker to be able to do that. So Nova Maker's fine, it's easy to use. Um, it's a little frustrating to get that cool feature of really, really light supports, something that we used for our miniature there. Um, you do have to use Nova Maker. It's not something that can be set up really in uh, in Chi2 Box. Um, so I, I don't use Lychee, but I don't think you can set it up in there either. So if you want those 0.25 supports, you are going to need to do that. You will see a little bit of support scarring on the brim of my Lady Day of the Dead person. And um, the main reason for that is because it's a bigger model and I didn't use the light supports and I just needed to tweak those settings a little bit. But you know, I wasn't going to waste the model on that. If I was going to paint her, I would have, uh, I would have just done some, you know, I'd have just done some sanding and I'd have got rid of that support scarring pretty quickly. 
So let's talk price. So right now on the Nova 3D website, this is £406 shipped. That has uh, at the time of publishing, that's a 44% discount that's on it at the moment. We do not have an affiliate link. We don't do affiliate links on this channel. We also weren't paid to do this review. We do get to keep the machine. So full disclosure there, um, but we don't get we don't get paid to do the review. We don't we don't get um, we don't get um, commissions or anything like that. We don't have affiliate links, so um, we're trying to make this as unbiased as we possibly can. So, in this price at this size, what kind of machine is this competing with? So it's competing primarily with something like the Uniformation GK2. At the 10.1, at the 10 inch screen sort of size, uh, the GK2 really is the machine to beat. I would give the GK2 a 9.5. You know, we've done a review of that. It's an excellent printer. Where does this stack up compared to the GK2? I would give this a solid nine out of 10. Now, the only reason for that is I'm giving it points for the fact that it has auto refill and that auto refill is nice and easy to use. I'm deducting some points for the hood. So I do not like hoods. I don't want hoods like this. I want either an up and over hood from the front or I want a two part front cover like on the M3s with any cubic that just comes off. This cover isn't to do anything other than protect something that's out on the side from UV, right? So it's not, doesn't need to be hermetically sealed or anything like that. And the problem is, is if I want to take this off, I have to go all the way up to take this off of the machine. Now, that doesn't sound like a problem unless you have multiple machines. Because if you have multiple machines, now you've got to make sure that your racking is double the height so that you're able to take off your plastic cover. It doesn't sound like something that's major, but it is annoying. Okay, it is annoying. We've got the power cord at the back, that's fine. Our on button is at the side, that's okay. Our USBs are at the side. Why? Why do you keep doing this to me? Everybody. Stop putting them where it's convenient for you. Put them where it's convenient for me. I want a power button on the front and I want my, I want my USB stick on the front. I don't want it inside the machine. I don't want it down the side. I don't want it there. I want it on the front where I can access it. I need to use it all the time. Why would you hide it from me? Why? There are two USB ports. One of them is for your data. The other is so you can plug in a Wi-Fi dongle. The Wi-Fi dongle does come with the machine. There is also an ethernet if you don't want to use Wi-Fi and you can access that directly from the Nova slicer as well. Overall, this is a really, really good machine. But let's take a look at some of the prints. Okay, so let's start with the things that were printed in the mono resin to begin with. So we've got this guy that was printed in the mono resin. Let's just get that to focus properly. There we go. Really, really good detail. Really nice model. We also printed that in some, in some J.O. flesh tone that we had. And again, absolutely smashed it. Really, really good quality. Back to Nova's resin. So this was using the 0.25 supports that are new in the Nova Slicer. And you can see that the detail on this is absolutely banging. It is exactly as I would want it to look. This is going to be a great model to sit down and paint the helmet. All of that super, super smooth. There we go, super, super smooth on the helmet. The face, nice and clean. All the detail on the shield, you can see all the battle damage and everything, really, really good. And it took a bit of jiggering, but we managed to get this on as well. So this, 
this is uh, just a kabuki mask that we found um, online and uh, really, really liked the model. And again, it has come out super, super smooth. This is gonna be one that's gonna go up on the shelf. So, I wanna show you the miniature that we did first. So let's pull this in and see if we can't get this to focus properly. Here we go. So this is the Warhammer guy that we did. This is in Sunloo's Red Wax 8.5K resin. Uh, we've done a different one of these on uh, on the P13 as well, which will feature in part of our review. Um, I think No, actually, I think we did it on the Mighty 8K. Yeah, I think we did the other one on the Mighty 8K, and this has absolutely come out blindingly well. So we use the 0 0.25 supports for this, and you can see everything has come out absolutely perfectly. Still a little bit of support clean up to do around his body, but really, really detailed, really, really nice model. Then we thought we'd try some stuff that was a little bit bigger. So we've got this guy here. Again, we've done another one of these on the Mighty 8K, and I tell you what, the quality that these machines are turning out is absolutely mind boggling. Take a look at that flesh, that texture that's on there. I mean, it's a, it's a glorious model to begin with, but it has come out absolutely beautifully in this mega, in this, uh, in this 8.5K resin from Sunlu. Really, really detailed, really nice. We then have a Photos Mint model. So this is one of the Urukai from Lord of the Rings. See if we can get in on that teeth detail there. These are all done at the 0.05 layer height. I did have a little bit of an issue with my wash station where it sort of weirdly created this banding that's around his tummy. I don't really know why he's done that, but, uh, but other than that, the hair detail, the ears, everything on there nice and crisp. There's a texture on the armor. Absolutely glorious. And then the model that I absolutely love. So this is our Day of the Dead model. So you can see that we used heavier supports on this and we just needed to do a little bit more cleanup. Um, there's just a little bit of pitting on here, which light sanding and that'll be gone. But the detail on her face, absolutely gorgeous. See if we can just turn an extra light on on this. There we go, I don't know if you can see now. You can see the detail on that. And then on the back of this, the detail on this lace. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, look at that. So I'm incredibly happy with the fine detail that this has turned out, really, really good. So, as you can see, these models are gorgeous. They're exactly what I would expect from an 8K printer at this size. The pixel resolution is, bear with me one moment, 29.7. And the main thing that they've changed as part of the SE on the whale is they have brought in their COB light source. The COB light source is a uniform light source across the entire screen. What you sometimes get with parallax and different um, um, LED arrays is you'll sometimes get that the sides of the screen, the sides where the LED array are, can be duller and therefore don't get as much light and you can get failures around the corners. We actually printed this guy right on the rear left-hand side of the bed. I did that to try and make sure that we were still gonna get the same detail as we would do in the middle, as we would do everywhere else, and it printed perfectly. So that new light source, really, really good. All of these models were printed at 0.05 layer heights. As I said, so we've got um, this and, uh, and the smaller models and the mask were all printed in Nova's 8K resin. And then all of these were printed in the Sunlu 8.5K 8 red wax resin. We've got a review coming on that as well. That came out really, really detailed, came out really, really nice. So yeah, scores on the doors time. At 400 pounds, 
I don't see many machines in this space that are gonna be able to keep pace with what this machine is doing. It's feature rich, it supports multiple slicers, the design is very good, it is very easy to use. You get it straight out of the box. There's no leveling. You're just straight into printing. It's really enjoyable. And that's the main thing, right? You can go on about all the different features that you might want in a printer, but what you really care about at the end of the day is that your printer works. That's it, right? You wanna get it out of the box and you wanna be get printing as soon as possible. Leveling free design means exactly that. It's no longer subject to how well my fat fingers can fiddle about at 0.2 microns of getting this bed perfectly level and everything like that. This is factory leveled, it comes out of the box and it just works. I really think that's the thing that most people want from their machines and this machine does tick that box. This is definitely one that's gonna go in the workshop. I think this has become a real workhorse. I'm going to be putting it through its paces next to my GK2 and next to Mike's uh, Mighty 8K as well. And we'll just see how they perform moving forwards. Um, how much will I use the resin refill? I'll be honest with you and say I probably won't use it that much. It's rare that I'm printing something that requires the full volume of this printer and certainly one that requires the full vat as well. Um, it's great to have resin refill so that if you are just that little bit forgetful and you don't remember to check, like it's, it's good to have. Is it a feature that I absolutely desperately need in a printer of this size? Probably not. I'd like to, you know, I like to see it in things like the M3 Max or the P13 or, um, or the Mega 8K or the Apex Maker or something like that. Big printers that have big vats where I'm doing big models. You are doing large models in this, but you've got to do something pretty substantial to use up the whole vat in a, in a single print. So topping it up before you start, it's just not that big of a deal, I don't really think. But that being said, the pixel density and the tool-free leveling and that light source, they're really, really good. So that's that's the review, right guys? That's the review. Um, there is a link in the video description if you wanna get your own. Feel free to jump over to Nova Maker's website and check them out. Thanks very much to our sponsor, PCBWay. We'll catch you on the next video.